And that an orchard uh, that was developing into a forest garden slowly but surely, Covid certainly set it back, but this is the orchard in its almost second year now, it's pretty much there and right in the middle uh, we were able to dig up a load of the, the turf, the grass that was there, and do a little bit of planting, um, just here with the baby. So uh, showing him round the, the orchard, he's pretty interested in it. Um, but the, the really interesting planting around here is the the lower level plants down here that we've put in. So a lot of this is, is like comfrey, um, there's some mint over here, that's mint in the middle, it's spread really far, that's um, it's a berry bush just down there with the lighter green leaves. And all these flowers are chamomile, and there's two different types of chamomile that I planted. Um, the chamomile on the right hand side here is lawn chamomile, and that'll create a really nice um, carpet of, of chamomile that will creep out into the grass. Um, it's a bit of a, a, a public footpath as you can see runs right through. Uh, so that'll be really nice as you tread on it it'll bring up some nice aromas but the uh, the other the taller chamomile is, is very nice you can use that in your tea and there's a huge amount here to harvest and that spread incredibly well. And also um, I'm sure I only put in a couple of strawberry plants but they've um, they've spread everywhere and that was just um, earlier in the year in the spring. They've done incredibly well. Looks like there's a lemon verbena down here. I think. Yeah that's lemon verbena. Uh, these leaves. And yeah there's a bit of, a bit of oregano there. Or it might just be marjoram. And there's a berry, there's, ah, the berry bush has done really well. This is it. Um, that should have some good berries next year. I forget what it is, I think it's a red currant bush. Let's have a look at what else is there. So you can see there's um, big clumps of comfrey all over. A lot of the grass is growing back, so it'll need a good old weed next year. Then if we have a look at some of the uh, the plants I'm more familiar with, there's um, actually there's a sedum here. You can eat the leaf, so this might be a, a plant you recognise. Just eat that leaf, and, uh, and it's not too bad. It's like a salady leaf. You wouldn't use it for the whole salad, but you could um, chop it up and have it as an, an additive. And then there's another berry bush up here, just there. That's done really well. I do believe, yeah, we've got a rhubarb in there. You can see, just that, see the leaves down there, and the, the, the base of the base of the stems are quite red. So yeah, that should that should kick off really well tomorrow with huge leaves, and uh, the trees are doing really well. Some of them are a bit smaller than others, and some have really taken off. I forget what they all are, if you, if you look through the playlist of this um, video I've named them all, but the, there have been a couple of additions. There was a fig tree over there, um, the one on the right, it's, uh, looks like it's alive and it's got some leaves on it. I weren't sure if it had died actually. Let's go and have a look. And uh, It's actually a mix of apples and plums and even some pears I think. Yeah, the fig tree survived. So it was pretty uh, touch and go for a while. But it's got leaves on and that'll just um, take root and, and really go mad. Yeah, really distinctive leaves and that'll look amazing. It's actually planted in concrete. <laughs> it was, uh, well, the, the hole that was dug was lined with concrete slabs and, and rubble. So if you restrict the roots, uh, stop them going too mad. So they can get get pretty big. Oh this this is another fig. Um, so this is an addition and it's got loads of figs on it. Um, you can see one just there. Little baby fig. Um, in the UK you need some pretty hot weather and some pretty extended hot weather for a whole year to stand a chance of getting a a ripe fig. It's pretty unlikely but you know you, you might get them on the odd year. And um, oh, there's a pretty big weed in, in this one. 
don't know what the baby thinks of the weed. It's pretty indifferent. I think he appreciates all plant life at this at that age. So the plan is to do more planting in that middle section. I'd really like to put in some like some rosemary and I've got quite a few other plants that could go in. It'd be nice to see a bay tree in here, but I don't I don't know if that's uh, on the plan. And then um, over there to dig out more turf and do some more planting and um, and over there as well. And it will just grow little by little into um, quite an amazing forest garden really. And it's um, it's just on this playing field. You can actually see some some high rise um, in the in the centre of, of Birmingham over there. So we're not not far from the city centre. But it's a, uh, a beautiful orchard that's being grown into a forest garden for the community. Anyone can access it and it's, uh, it's developing really well. And you can check out the other videos to see where it all started actually. It looked a bit bare and smaller trees and they're doing fine.